scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. So, Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast, speedy fighter. And if you're the speedy fighter in a matchup against a power puncher, what are you trying to accomplish early on? Well, you want to stay on the outside where you can use that speed a little bit. And you want to make sure you don't get trapped. Don't let him get you into close places. Keep me back off the ropes. What an impact that left hand just made by Johnson. away with a hook by Meldrick Johnson. Precision work with the left hand by Johnson. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's nice work. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Scored well with that right-handed Meldrick Johnson. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Ariel was tagged by a hook. Very accurate with the overhand right. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Hits him in the mug with the right. And just Double grabbing on to his opponent. <laughs> Up top with the right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Comes right back with a shot of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Ariola's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Good left there. Move in, move in. Johnson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Ariola's nose is cut. You can see that it's worsening as this round goes on. What impact from that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Up top with a quick hook. Nice work to the midsection with the left. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Mildred Johnson. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Johnson. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Here we go. Round two is underway. Ariola's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Hooks on you. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing. Oh, down he goes. He went down. It'll be interesting to see how Chris Ariola reacts after being knocked down. He does beat the count. Missed the body shot. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Get in there. Let's go. How about that exchange? And he just holds on there. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all the points? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. 
Lola's game plan must have been that he's going to end this fight very early with his power. Because just looking at the way he's acting in there, that's not a fighter who thinks he's going long. Solid left hand to the head. Johnson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Ariola's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches. up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Use the ring. There it is! Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. And we come to the end of round number two. Ariel was cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using... Solid. That was a big shot that caught him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. That's it. The fight is over. Meldrick Johnson's gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Boxing writers are going to have a field day.